been a disjointed vlog so far, but I promise you my intentions were good. So we basically flew to Georgia last night. We are now in the North Georgia mountains where my mom and stepdad live. And our plan was to stay here all weekend, have a good cozy bed and breakfast type picture like we always do when we come down here in the winter. However, we happened to book our flights during like the worst blizzard of the last decade plus in the Northeast. So it was a little challenging getting down here. We worked all day yesterday. We went straight to the airport after work. I went from my job over to Newark Airport. Andrana was in the city working, so to train in to Newark Airport. Our flight was delayed about 30 minutes because we were just trying to edge out the blizzard before it hit the entire Northeast and dropped like a foot and a half of snow. We literally barely got out. We got to Georgia at midnight. We were supposed to get in at like 9.45. We had to wait an hour for an Uber to come pick us up. It drove us 40 minutes north. My mom met us halfway at about 1 o'clock a.m. this morning, and then once she picked us up, we made it all the way up. Mom, you want to be on the blog? Sure. Hi. That's my mom, by the way. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> mom came out for the blog. Let's do, let's get mom in here. This is Mama for everybody who has never met my mom before. How Hi. how was I as a kid, mom? Um, he was a great kid, very lovey dovey, and um, always liked to cuddle. Wouldn't he was a mama's boy, big time. All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got in at two, enough of that. So we got in at 2 a.m. last night, and uh, yeah, basically we slept early till like 9:45 this morning. Had coffee. Now we're going to visit my granddad because he lives here, and I haven't seen him in a very long time. He is 92, I believe. So we're gonna see him, see how he's doing, and uh, see where the rest of the day takes us before we leave tomorrow. And while I wait for Andrana to get ready, I might as well just rock in the rocking chair on the front porch because that's what you do in Georgia. <laughs> All my Georgia fam knows what's up. So what I'm going to do is film a little Q&A as we go through this whole weekend in Georgia. So we'll start with the first question you all asked us, and that is, Andrana. Yes? Are you quitting YouTube? <laughs> um, I don't know if you would call it quitting but i don't know i hit a pause for a moment and just maybe wanted long, to make how some... long is the pause i'm not sure do you want to see more content let me know in the comments below i kind of wanted to make like little short videos on instagram rather than longer videos on youtube so maybe that's what i'll do but what do people prefer short videos on instagram or longer videos on youtube comment leave them below. in the comment below Well, that was a fail. Looks like we'll have to take the car. <laughs> All right, so I've done a bad job as usual, kind of going over what the heck I'm even doing here. So today we went and saw my granddad, picture up here, I'll put a picture, and uh, hung out with him today. It was fun, I haven't seen him in a couple of years because of COVID and all that stuff. And yeah, it was great. He's 93 years old, still walking around every day, looking great. And it's always fun to talk to him and talk about how life was in like the 1930s and 40s because that's crazy to think about. After that, we went to the local pub around here, met some of the locals, had a few beers. Now we're here. We're gonna go visit my aunt and uncle who live close by down the road and have a nice little dinner here because I guess it's our last night in Georgia. Crazy to say because we just got here this morning. Good news, the four wheelers running. And before you all say, Michael, why aren't you wearing a helmet? We're literally going to the end of the driveway, which is where we're going. So we're not going on a long trip here. We're going to the end of the driveway. It's okay. Are you taking us for a ride? No, you're taking us for a ride. <laughs> okay. How cold is it? Not that bad. It's not that bad, actually. Shining. All right, so we made it to our first stop of this journey into the driveway. My mom lives in a very long driveway, if you can imagine. And uh, yeah, just checking out the views. It's our first stop. <laughs> views on views on views. This is stop number one before we go visit my aunt and uncle. Welcome to the North Georgia Mountains. Good. 
And, oh, I can't see it all. Here's another beautiful day here in North Georgia mountains. Uh, what are we gonna do today? I've been kind of like all over the place, but I figured I would go ahead and answer another question because I told you all I was going to be answering questions while I was kind of here. So we're here just for today and then we have to go back, unfortunately. But one of the questions I got was, and I forgot it. <laughs> all right, so I literally had to go and look at my phone because I forgot the question, but let me sit down. Question I got asked is, will I be missing New York City? and I can't see anything, so I have to move. <sighs> That's kind of a tough question. The short answer is not really. I don't really miss it that much, to be honest with you. I love living there, I love everything about New York City, but for how expensive it is and how hard it is to live there, it's, it's just not fiscally responsible. And I don't know, the older I get, I'm like, is it really worth not being able to retire early just to like be in a city with cool restaurants and cool cocktail bars? Like, is it really that worth it? So part of me is like, yeah, I miss it a ton. And then part of me is like, no, I don't really miss it at all. And I think the fact that I haven't been there, but like once or twice in the last eight months almost since I left, will probably tell you everything you need to know. And it's only an hour drive for me to go there. And Andriana works there every single week. So the fact that I don't go there that often means I probably don't miss it that much. Our goal here is to take the four-wheeler out again and do a little adventure. But like I said before, for the helmet police, we just go down the driveway and take a right and we're there. We're not doing anything crazy. So don't yell at me for no helmets. Okay, good. Let's get this thing started. Round two. Hey, what do you think? Nothing. What do I think? <laughs> it's more real time. Well, you definitely can't get this anywhere outside of North Georgia, right babe? Nope. <laughs> Look at this view, endless. Three sixty degree view, beautiful out here. It's also not as cold as it was yesterday. We went riding and it's also like 10 a.m. versus 4 p.m. last night, we were frozen. Still cold, it's like 25 degrees, but it's still good. So we're gonna ride around over here for a minute, head back, and uh, before we have to pack up all our stuff and head back. So, yeah, not a bad Sunday. The question of the day is, any plans on buying a home, or I should say a house, in the future? I don't know, are we? I don't know. I think we're still, one, we don't feel like moving. Well, the question is. Again. We already own multiple houses, but none of them are where we live. We still rent for our home uh, in New Jersey. We may buy one soon, maybe in like a year or two. I don't know, I'm in no rush. I we don't feel like moving again, we just yeah. moved. And I think we're still exploring which area or neighborhood we like. Pretty much, yeah. We like to just pick up and do spontaneous things like this, so. It's really easy to just rent. Yeah, it's, it's nice to rent. So that's that question. All right, another question for Andriana. What is the question? How did you like living in Durham, North Carolina? So I think when I first moved... I don't know if we can hear you. I think when I first moved, I was a little bit shocked and it was like a big transition for me. And I feel like I didn't fully appreciate it until I moved out of the triangle or I say moved out of Durham. I would definitely live in Maybe not in Durham, but in like another town in the future if we had Where, to. Where, North Carolina? In North Carolina, yeah. I would definitely move, I would definitely consider North Carolina if I ever had to move back to the south. Yeah, I think we enjoyed it. I think we were happy when we were gone, but while we lived there, I think it was pretty good. Yeah, it definitely has a mix of a little bit of everything. Like you have the beach, you have the mountains, you have downtown area. Um, you have a ton of like young professionals and just like a young crowd. So it's definitely an appealing area for yeah, sure. It's not too bad. We liked it and but we don't like it as much as we like living in Jersey, right? Yeah, I'm joking, yeah. <laughs> Facts. Alright, so we officially made it back to Jersey. And I'm a little concerned because I parked outside, so I have no idea what my car's gonna look like after this blizzard that we narrowly escaped. Where'd you park? 
Somewhere outside. That's helpful. Oh my god, I'm already seeing all the snow on the ground. It's making me a little nervous. All right, for starters, it's freezing out. It's like 21 degrees, and uh, there's definitely some snow in the parking lot. Let's see how the old car looks. I think I can get out, though. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look too bad. I think if we came yesterday, maybe it would have been a little tough, but not too bad today. Coming up on the old car. Oh, it's not bad. Oh. There's a little something, something in front of it, but it's all right. Not too bad at all. Some icicles. Kind of looks pretty dope, actually. All right, everybody, so we're officially back in Jersey ready to end the vlog here. Hope you all enjoyed our super random trip that lasted 36 hours to Georgia. Officially back home, have to work this whole week. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see more travel vlogs like this, let me know in the comments below. We're gonna have a couple more trips coming up. Going to Utah soon, going to a beach destination soon. Let me know if you wanna see vlogs of that. I kinda like doing this because, like I said before, I get to switch it up, get to look back on these videos later, and they're kinda fun. So we get to document some of my memories in our journeys together, so. Send us out, babe. If you <coughs> like vlogs like this, then babe, I already smash said that, that like I already and said subscribe that. button. Otherwise, we'll see you on our next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>